Hello everyone and welcome to another video presentation courtesy of the University of North Texas Physics Department with the assistance of the Physics Demo Room. My name is Corey Nook and I'll be assisting with today's demonstration on heat, in particular of how heat is conducted or travel or transfer. Today's demonstration we're going to be looking at is radiation. So radiation is just means of the transfer of energy by electromagnetic waves. The most common version of that that we all see or that we've all experienced is from the sun, especially if you've gotten sunburn. Sunburn is just a result of you being exposed to a lot of energy from the sun. That's why we have sunscreen to help prevent that sunburn. Now, a lot of things will emit radiation, such as lights as well in the building, but they are so small doses, we don't usually typically worry about them. So to, ex to extreme or to show how we can transfer that energy and see it, how much energy is being produced. What I have is in front of me is a radiometer. And all it is is a little glass container that ignores the outside gases. And it has a little stand with a little metal rod in it. And on top of that rod is just a little glass uh, holder. That way I have four quote unquote uh, fins. And one side is coated with what looks to be a white substance and the other is coated with a black substance. This is to help with black body radiation in that we have our black painted surface, that way it'll absorb the light, and our white surface will reflect the light. So our black painted surface will be a perfect absorber and our white absorber, white will be a perfect reflector in theory. So this is all off of black body radiation in that sense. So what we're going to do is we're going to shine three different light sources on here and see how they move these little wheels. So first we're going to simulate is just pure sunlight. And we can see a radiometer start spinning, getting faster, faster, and faster. Pretty, pretty straightforward. Going really good. Now I turn it off. And so what it did is that all of the black surfaces absorbed that heat. And with that heat, it then emitted that heat back off, causing that object to move and to spin. Now this white light source has a bunch of different wavelengths with it. So it has all in the visible spectrum, the ultraviolet spectrum, and maybe possibly some in the x-ray spectrum. So these other two light sources that I have, this is a UV light source. So it just means ultraviolet means that it's like around 180 to 300 nanometers, I would say. And what I'm just going to do is I'm going to shine that on here. Once this hopefully kind of gets stops spinning. And we'll see how fast it will move if I only use a portion of the amount of wavelengths that we have uh, available. So now if I only use... UV light source, and I shine it on here. Take a little bit of time, but it should hopefully start to pick back up again. And should start to spin ever so slowly. Gotta be careful of the camera. And this is a little while ago. That's just been taking some time. It's only got a few wavelengths instead of several hundred, like our other light source. Okay, well, let me just try our other light source. So this is just a helium neon laser. About 632 nanometers is the wavelength. So now I'm going to shine it on. As you can probably see a little red glow there. So now I'm going to shine it on our surface. And should hopefully see it starting to move somewhat soon. Yeah, there it starts going. Now 
Yeah, ever so slightly turning. So this is what has happened now because we have reduced the total number of energy that is allowed to the actual uh, radiometer because we are only looking at certain wavelengths instead of more. Now how energy is defined in terms of its wavelength, that's more in terms of a modern physics or a physics 2 type question. But right now we're just looking at the different energy sources that still are able to uh, capture and have their energy being absorbed to go and convert it into mechanical energy. Well, thank you for watching this video presentation and have a wonderful day.